Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was just Googling ways to get into Area 51 on my public computer. FBI, open up! Well, now that I'm locked in an unmarked top secret military facility underground, apparently the only way I can get out is if I tell you why you should not go to Area 51, including its security and history. Let's get into it. Was that good? Excellent. Area 51 was built in 1955, but it wasn't recognized by the CIA until 2013. <clears throat> or, I mean, Area 51 was built in 2013. It was used as a military testing and training ground for many specialized aircraft. It was even where the U-2 spy plane was first built and tested in the late 1950s during the Cold War. The plane was kept away from the public for several years so the Air Force could stay ahead of the USSR in the arms race and also spy on them without their knowledge. Strangely enough, that's when people started to claim sightings of UFOs. After the U-2 spy plane incident of 1960, where a spy plane was shot down in deep reconnaissance over Soviet airspace, the government acknowledged the U-2 spy plane to the media saying that these supposed UFO sightings were just test flights of this plane. Did I read all that alright? Hey, stop acknowledging I'm here, just read the damn script. Oh, okay, just don't hit me again. Don't make me get the wet noodle. No, please, anything but the noodle. I'll do whatever you want. Now, now, now that you know the history of the base and how it houses no aliens whatsoever, let's talk about some of the security measures at Area 51. Most commuters to Area 51 travel on unmarked Boeing planes that depart from a terminal at McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas. Defense contractor EG&G owns the terminal. Each plane uses a special code as a call sign to the airport's control tower. The airspace above Area 51 is restricted to all commercial and military flights not originating from the base itself. Area 51 is believed to be part of either Edwards Air Base in California or the Nellis Air Base in Nevada, even though pilots from these bases are forbidden to fly in Area 51's airspace. In fact, pilots who fly even remotely close to this zone reportedly face punishment from their commanders. Whenever a pilot flies into the surrounding zone of Area 51, the training exercises there immediately end and the pilot is ordered back to the base. Knowingly flying into these zones is a much more serious offense and pilots can face a court-martial, dishonorable discharge, and time in prison. The borders of Area 51 are not fenced, but are marked with orange poles and warning signs. The sign tells you that photography isn't allowed and that trespassing on the property will result in a fine and prison. The signs also warn that security is authorized to use deadly force on people who insist on Trespassing. Rumors circulate among conspiracy theorists over how many unfortunate truth seekers have died as a result of tromping around the grounds of Area 51. Back in 2016, a television crew filming for the BBC show Conspiracy Road Trip were arrested at gunpoint for approaching Area 51. The crew of 12 were reportedly searched and forced to lie down on the ground for three hours while the FBI ran security checks. Eventually, they were let go and issued a 375 pound fine each. Later that year, two men who thought they had found a secret unguarded entrance to Area 51 on their motorcycles were held at gunpoint by two men in camel uniforms. The footage is still on YouTube. Here's a clip of that. Wait, absolutely not. Why not? We told them to take that video down years ago. That video should not be up. That's classified. But it might deter some people from going. That's true. I'll allow it. Yours are still off. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh, we got things happening. I know, I am. Yeah. Put your fucking hands up. I'm not going to tell you again. Turn around. You got him? I'll cut him down. You got it? Yeah. You got anything on you? Nope. No, sir. I got a knife over here. Huh? I use a new weapon. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. 
you going all the way out here? We're just adventure travelers. We're just huh? we're just adventure travelers. It's adventure travelers? Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. We're down a little alien. They said, come up and steer it well right. Yeah. Everybody else does. Yeah, that's what everybody does. Can we go pass along? We'll turn around to head back to Little Alien for dinner. I knew you should. I, I knew. I know. Listen, we're going to give you guys a chance, okay? Get on your bikes, get the fuck out of here. We'll call Lincoln County and we'll write you each a $750 ticket. Okay. We're out of here. Thank right. you. Go ahead. Sorry for the hassle, guys. We're just, we're just travelers. My bad. All right, let's do it. That video is still on YouTube for any of you that want to watch the full video. I'll put a link down in the description for you to see that. Two years previous to this incident, a tour bus carting four passengers accidentally drove through the warning signs and approached Area 51. As Las Vegas Now reported, the tour was pulled over by military personnel armed with M16s and threatened with a misdemeanor conviction and $650 fines. However, the driver was the only one who was fined. All of these attempts were relatively harmless and posed no real threat. In cases where there has been more of an immediate danger, deadly force has been used. In January 2019, a man with a cylinder object in his hand failed to stop at a security gate. According to a press release, he was promptly shot dead on the scene after disregarding commands by the guards. The camo men, like the ones in the previous video, usually drive around in four-wheel drive vehicles, keeping an eye on anyone near the borders of Area 51. Supposedly, their instructions are to avoid contact with intruders if possible, and act merely as both an observer and deterrent. If someone seems suspicious, the camel men will call in the local sheriff to deal with them. Once in a while, they have confronted trespassers, allegedly seizing any film or other recording devices and intimidating the trespassers. Sometimes helicopters provide additional support. There are rumors that the helicopter pilots occasionally use illegal tactics like hovering very low over trespassers to harass them. Other security measures include sensors planted around the perimeter of the base. These sensors detect movement, and some believe they can even discern the difference between an animal and a human being. Sorry furries, you running on all fours isn't gonna fool this device. Since Area 51 is effectively a wildlife preserve, it was important to create warning devices that could not easily be tripped by a passing animal. One theory held by observers is that the sensors can detect the scent of the passing creature. While this has yet to be confirmed, it's certain that there are buried sensors all around Area 51. One resident near the area named Chuck Clark discovered several of these sensors, and at one point the FBI accused him of interfering with signal devices and ordered him to either return a missing sensor or pay a fine. Clark denied taking one but agreed to stop his investigations. The last form of defense is a white truck used to scout those that travel to the very line they are not supposed to cross. The truck is nearly always seen perched on the top of this hill, ready to make the call for anyone that tries to push their luck. The U.S. Air Force has recognized this joke as a threat and are taking this matter very seriously. A spokeswoman for Area 51 told the media, Area 51 is an open training range for the U.S. Air Force, and we would discourage anyone from trying to come into the area where we train American Armed Forces. The U.S. Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its assets. U.S. law forbids trespassing on military bases and authorizes the use of deadly force on anyone who attempts to infiltrate any base, not just Area 51. But that's all the reasons why it's probably not a good idea to infiltrate Area 51. There, it's over. Can I go home now? Very good, Alex. Now there's just one more thing we need you to do. As long as it's not the noodle. It's not the noodle. Is that Will Smith? May I have your attention, please? Wait, what was I doing that wasn't Area 51 related at all? Ah, yes, a new episode of Haunted. I better get started on that right now. In all seriousness, though, I know that all of us understand this is a joke. For the few of you that are actually thinking of trying to infiltrate Area 51, please don't do it. 
it's not it's not worth the risk at the very least you're probably looking at prison time and a fine and the average is like one year in prison but i'm sure if this happens and there's like a lot of people going they're probably going to make that even longer to discourage anyone from doing this ever again and at at the very worst i mean you could be killed it's not worth it it's not worth trying to push your luck did i say all that correctly alex I'm just kidding. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment below if you like this kind of video. It's a bit different than my other ones. So feedback is always appreciated. And hopefully you subscribe for more great content. We do all the research so you don't have to. And as always, I'm Alex. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Cut. That's a wrap. Cuts deeper than the roots of the trees that we planted in the graveyard. I don't think these scars will ever fade off. Good thing nothing seems to phase us. So numb.